Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. What? Happy. New. 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 Today is uh, August 8th, 2022. It is 5.48 a.m. I've been editing all yesterday and uh, I still have some more editing to do. And uh, I realized that I have one more video to edit. And if I finish it and I have more time during the day to edit some more, at least I have something. So I said, let me record some stuff. So I have a tweet to share with you. All right, so this is my back end. Let's go on Twitter this one i literally just saw it and i added on my list and i'm gonna share it with you first okay this is dr shola okay family what's a name pos okay and there's the looking eye so this is something she received all right just read the screen just read the screen i can't believe this all right so she's receiving a lot of hate mails all sort of you know negative information so here are some of the response you see i literally just respond to that 55 seconds ago okay praying for your hard work and your safety okay next tweet and next comment racists always have a poor grasp of english grammar can rarely spell the lamp impotent man that would this has failed at every aspect of his dire life and is seething that black people are doing better than him this is the ramblings of an unmoistured <laughs> unmoistured and unseasoned failure I, I was giggling because i'm thinking of omid on one of his comments that he responded to one of the derangers so sorry auntie keep on doing what you're doing you do an amazing job these races will never silence or stop us Okay, reading his extremely poor English, it appears he calls her a racist and then ex <laughs> extremely racist himself. These people need to rent brain cells in order to fart. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I'm not quite sure how this email disgusting thought it is. 
is evident of systematic racism. There are many unpleasant people with agendas of their own from all walks of life and all hues. There's Dr. Jola, reverse racism does not exist. Every time a white person calls a black person a racist, they're projecting a false equivalence of oppression and and equality and justice that does not exist a lie black people are not systematically racist to white people sit your ass down and get educated <laughs> that's a minute 59 seconds oh are you talking to me this is going to be fun let the lessons begin being anti-racist is not racist that's just fact but let me break it down for you tell me do you call Jews anti-Semites for fighting anti-Semitism? No. Do you call Muslims Islamophobic for fighting Islamophobia? No. Do you call LGBT homophobic for fighting homophobia? No. But do you have the caucasity to claim a false equivalent of oppression from a legacy of slavery and white supremacy that you perpetrate and benefit from? Sit your ass down and get an education. Oh, One, damn. reverse racism does not exist. Two, standing up to racism is not anti-white or racist. Remember, not all white people are racist. Three, black people and ethnic minorities don't have a power construct to deny white people an equal value of life and liberty. Four, white people don't experience systemic racism, period. You will never silence voices like mine. Ooh. She's good. She's good. All right. With that being said, I'm going to stop go well not stop go to the next tweet okay there's a lot i need to share with you and people are gonna get up and i don't want uh, to re be recording while they are up all right so i literally just saw this let's go to the next tweet this is the main focus of this video all right we need to keep on praying for uh dr shola she's doing a wonderful job all right appalling comment in today's sunday times from bab morris at can you what is that the uh, constitution unit apparently there should be limits on what mps can discuss when it comes to the monarchy why why wouldn't you want an open house on criticizing them abolish the monarchy all right so this is the thing here for them they want secrecy things should not be equal to them they untouchable so people should not hear what they're gonna discuss about them all right let's see here uh republic put a screenshot bob morris senior research associate at university college london's constitution unit believes there is a balance to be struck between accountability and maintaining the cohesion of the monarchy as an institution they should not be getting involved this past couple of weeks i've been sharing some stuff with you that is being reported carrying bags up full of money if somebody like you have more than several thousand dollars in your pocket flying around you know they're gonna question you so why should this be different and when these people are receiving taxpayers money okay quote it's difficult to know where to draw the line a line needs to be drawn somewhere like this lady had said are they gonna be private or are they gonna be this figurehead they better choose one if they're gonna choose one they stay in their lane okay <laughs> he said quote how far is it how far is it parliament's business how prince andrew has apparently been behaving well they're receiving taxpayers money well, even still okay look at how many people are they arresting there's, if there's somebody did something wrong, they should be reprimanded just like anybody else. They should not be untouchable. When people think they are untouchable, they do a lot of stupid things on, onto others. Just like Prince Andrew did. If he knew he was going to be punished, do you think some of the things he did, he would be doing it? He would think twice. Okay, you would want an open house where you open where you open up the royal family to snipe in from anyone who wants with gay abandoned. What the hell is this? Who is this guy? I ch they start they're paying attention this is the thing here this is probably one of their mouthpiece they're sending out to start changing the mind so they know things is getting closer something is unraveling they know it already so they're starting creating the narrative to change the mind i just hope some the people in the uk have a set goal they know what they want and stick to it because those negativities of trying to change the mind is gonna be thrown at them every now and then okay constitution unit continue we'll recommend reading the article itself it was not actually published today but a month ago so there's the link here 
I'll click on it and put the link in the description for you. But I'm going to go back on Twitter. Okay, it ends with these words from Bob, which put the other side of the argument. Okay, I'm just going to read what's on Twitter. But the link of that article he's referring to, the link will be in the description. You could read it yourself. Okay, decorum has maybe got more attention than bringing people to account, said Morris. But maybe the restraint has gone too far. Maybe Parliament should try to sophisticate itself rather more about the way these issues are discussed. Who is asking questions about the cash floating around in the bags of one of our most esteemed retailers? Okay, quote, there are no easy answers, he added, but people should at least be asking them. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, read the article, but that doesn't change much. There are easy answers, openly challenge the corruption, behavior, and abuse of power of the royals as freely as is necessary. The standard we apply to MPs and other public officials should be applied to the royals. That's why. Okay, so the cohesion of, what is it? Uh, the standard we apply to MPs and other public officials should be applied to the royals. Okay. All right, so the cohesion of the monarchy as an institution can only be maintained by enforced silence about the reality of the monarchy and the poor behavior of the Windsors. His attitude, hmm, poor behaviors, there it is poor behaviors of the Windsors. His attitude is more proof that the monarchy is built on lies, that's a hashtag, built on lies, doesn't deserve to exist and should be abolished. Wow. Okay, when that same monarchy uses the apparatus of the state for financial gain, exempt themselves from law or to exclude themselves from arrest, questioning, then it absolutely deserves scrutiny. Yep, that's the thing. Let's see here. I don't think people realize how the establishment became established. They simply stole land and property from the poor, surrounded themselves with weak-minded psychophants for protection, gave themselves titles, and have been wielded power ever since. That's exactly that. If you see what's going on in the Middle East, oh my God, it is heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. All right, but this person, this quote is very, is very true. All right, weak minded people. There's one video that I did where I was saying we need to set a goal for ourselves. And then uh, when you see, when people are throwing BS at you, uh, you will know it's BS because it does not align with your principle. Uh, I didn't say it like that, but in that sense. Okay, he appears to be calling the Le Majesty's Law not even limited to the monarch, but to all their family. Bob Morris, U uh, UCL, respond and clarify. Okay, sound like a cult. <laughs> All right, there should be literally sniping on anyone, and it's not the job of academics to maintain the cohesion of anything other than their argument. Ben, the lot of them, every last one. Okay, Ben, B I N. Obviously, aiming for a CBE or MBE, I guess one of those honors. All right, or another such honor. Yep. Do these people understand what democracy means? I don't know. I don't know. Little at a time, they keep chipping away, chipping away, and then they're grabbing big handful. Okay, they all seem to have forgotten that they serve the people and reign, hold office at the will of the people. Therefore, the people have every right to question or even criticize how they go about their job. Yep. Um, the other thing is that um, <sighs> once it's time for election, you're going to see. They're going to throw the cancer of our society, the racism. They're going to throw some man-made problem that probably never existed, but they throw it depending on the uh, leverage of uh, how the people's sentiment is going. All right? They're going to throw some BS about racism and then make people forget all about the uh, establishment. The last huge election, the 20, right after 2020, the US 2020 election, there was a huge election in the UK. I really thought the UK got it, but no, they put the same people. Look at what happened. Now, Bojo have to quit. All right, let me go to the next tweet, and it's in the same sort of topic. There's that. Okay, Labour for Republic. Okay, the scandals will keep coming because the concept of a monarchy is corrupt and its foundation. Okay, so he retweeted one of the royal reporters. Sometime I share uh, her tweet with you. So let's go into that. 
All right, so labor for a republic retreated royal reporters thing. So let's go into that. It's a threat. Okay, interesting. Quote, Prince Charles met a Russian oligarch with flanks to Vladimir Putin the same year his charity accepted a 300,000 pound donation from the businessman. And if you realize during, well, it's still going on, um, the Ukraine war, uh, how they are protecting uh, Russian business, uh, not businesses, uh, mention, that's what I meant, mention. I think I've shared it in some of my videos. All right, you have uh, people who went um, break into those mentions and said, this is one of those holocausts uh, mentioned and this and that. They need to seize it because at that time they were doing... Um, uh what's the term um embargo on on them so they were th some of the brits citizen were saying there's a oligarch's business you need to seize that and all of this all right what did they do they sent police to protect it all right you know the uk is playing the wrong side of this war or maybe playing both sides pretend one thing on the facade but in the back they're doing something else look at how they get uh, they caught bojo uh, he went on secret meeting and now you're hearing there's Prince Charles doing the same thing. They know they got the information. Let's not forget as well. Go back to some of my videos when I'm talking about Epstein. So they got something on all of them. So they're making them do their dirty work for them. Uh, the Russian doesn't play. They, doesn't, they don't play. They already deal with uh, Charles, uh, what is it, uncles or great uncles or something like that. The Romanovs, look into the Romanovs, all right? Well, the Russian doesn't play with the monarchy. They know. And then they got them in terms of Prince Andrew, probably some other stuff we're probably not aware of, okay? With the Epstein kind of thing. So let's read. Uh, well, this is the archive. Prince Charles Charity took 300,000 pound donation from Russian oligarch with links to Vladimir Putin. All right, so they got them there too. Okay, what is it? one of Charles uh, cousin or uncle or the Queen's cousin uh, there was some articles that I read about it they received money from them too The, uh, the Prince Foundation received the cash from a charity run by Marsh Cantor in 2020, despite the billionaire having been named on a Putin list released by the U.S. Treasurer in 2018. I am losing count of the number of dodgy cash dealing involving Prince Charles and some very unsavoring but wealthy businessmen. The stories are not new from 2003 to 2018, and it begs the question of who is making these disclosures and why now? Is this another yank of the vlog by KP. Now why I guess all uh, I guess all that kissing up to Rothenmer isn't working. Daily Fell still printing his dirt. Question is who is licking it? And the thing is that this is why Harry was like he's not playing this game. He doesn't want to play this game. When you being in fear you can't really live your life the way you want to. He doesn't want to play this type of game. Yeah. Okay the be <laughs> the pegger. <laughs> If he thinks this is going to help him as well, he mistaken. My goodness. Nothing surprises me anymore about Charles and the Charity Commission will say nothing to see here. Yep. That's exactly that. Uh, wasn't Kate and William playing tennis with some Russian who live in Ukraine? Seem to remember them hosting them at Kensington Palace. When I saw that, I thought big money must have changed hands. Of course. All right. Because they know the... You know what saves what keeps us in a break right now the 2020 election in the u.s other than that everybody was already in line okay the, the russian play their game very well they pay who they had to pay to do their things and if they don't s stick by their uh, prince whatever deal that they make they know the russian were coming after them all right you know what saves us is the 2020 election for now and you see how hard many republicans in the u.s are fighting to go against the voice of the people uh then is there anyone who hasn't passed this man some cash charles needs to call a plumber because he's got leaks left and right yeah oh my god look at this damn if you stand in front of this that thing is gonna blow you off 
Uh, why this charity seems like a front for money laundering? Yep. Why so many donors with questionable ties donation to this charity? What are they getting out of it? Mm -hmm. Chuck has accepted collection millions of dollars for his charities over the years. So are all of these charities flush with cash driving with no worries? Who are Chuck's charities that have benefited from his foreign money connection? Okay, someone is, is up to something. Agreed. Let me guess. After this mess is all over, the internet, nobody will investigate nothing. Is this the type of king the UK really wants? Mm, yep. Rents and repeat. Mm -hmm. All right. So this, people are pretty much saying the same thing here. Let's go to the next tweet. All right. The British monarchy is very much a part of the Princess Meghan six year and counting smear campaign. The never complain, never explain is a smoke screen. The truth will rise to the top and the rattling of skeletons will be deafening. All right. So there's worth them all. Mm -mm -mm. All of them baggage for God. Oh, that was it. There's no comment in here. All right. Let's go to the next tweet. Baggage for God. Uh, why I'm alarmed by the hate against Princess Meghan, the more I research the British royal family and the British media history, the more alarmed I am that both are widely vicious. The death of Lady Diana was avoidable, but the British appetite for unelected monarchy and a wild British media trumped humanity, British royal family and British media are racist. I, I did that small little research of how the media became the way it is. Okay, we don't have a Princess Megan. <laughs> that is me putting this in. I was like, but okay, I, that's uh, Archie's birth certificate. Okay, it is alarming, especially the people claiming it's not racist, but her behavior. But when press, they can't come up with anything she's done that then come from a tabloid or another Twitter troll. All right, so that's about Megan. <laughs> In one of my video I share with you let me click on it all right so there's this here mother there's mother Rachel Megan her royal highness the Duchess of Sussex okay place of birth California United States of America occupation princess of the United Kingdom okay so there it is here that's why I put it there all right um, she's not a princess. <laughs> it's like, okay, keep telling you that. Okay, my theory is that this is a result of too many people holding tabloid in the same regard as actual journalism. Similar to her, there are too many Fox News watchers here in the US linked to the rise of conspiracy theories, among other issues. Yep, that's exactly that. That's a different language. Okay, so far from what we have learned about royal family shenanigans and their blatant lying, I believe Diana never declined security. I think so too. I think so too. The royal family led the masses to be believe that the same way they told the world that Harry and Meghan declined titles for Archie, which they never did. Mm-hmm. Of course. Okay. If they didn't decline the title, then he will be known as Archie, the Earl of Denbarton, since he is not st styled in that manner. Uh, then we know they declined giving him a title. Okay, it's disgusting. Princess Megan is a good person. Princess Megan. All right, let's go to the next one. I have a lot to edit. I'm trying to at least share this information with you and then continue with my editing. Okay, because um, on Wednesday, I'm going on vacation. And then the next couple weekends, the same thing until the kids go back to school. All right, um, Princess Karen wants one and Pharaoh to investigate Tyler Perry, Princess Harry, Okay, Princess Harry and Princess Meghan. Okay, Prince Harry. I think he meant Prince Harry. Uh, Princess Karen wants one and Pharaoh to investigate Tyler Perry, Prince Harry, Princess Meghan for attempting to destroy the monarchy of several countries. Why the heck are we wasting time defending Harry and Meghan since they are so powerful? <laughs> There's one, Karen's army. Uh, one and Pharaoh, can you investigate a Tyler Perry, Prince Harry, and the so-called Princess Meghan, aka Meghan Marco, and their dangerous plan to attempt to destroy the monarchy of several countries? It's much needed. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. There's me here. I can't believe what I just read. Are they serious? <laughs> There's me laughing. Okay, I didn't know the monarchy was so easy to destroy when it survived 
all the wars, murders, adultery, racism, money scams, Tyler Perry is the emperor. Okay, the monarchy destroyed themselves when they co-signed with the British media to do the smear campaign against Meghan. Mm -hmm. Well, I sure will welcome one and Farrell investigating any suspected, I think, suspected person. <laughs> uh, the wells and the thing is that they better be careful for what they search for uh, what they wish for because when one and Farrell does uh, his research he go deep this is the last person they will want because he's probably gonna uncover a whole bunch of other stuff all right so i have him when i was doing um, my research on journalism he was one of the two who was the second one i think um i Omid, but I didn't hold Omid as that high as Ronan Farrell, but I put him up there. All right, in the same sort of uh, classification, but not not as high as Ronan Farrell for some reason. All right, go watch it. It's on my other channel. Uh, I can only imagine what he write about the British royal family or the Meghan haters. Okay, is this a joke? Is this person serious? Okay, I'm telling you. Okay, my thought on Karen's claim about having Megan and Tyler. <laughs> okay, it's weird how they think this black lady is both a nobody but also powerful enough to harm 1,000 plus year institution. Okay, one and she'll investigate the royals and the Brit media. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They better be careful what they uh, wish for because one and five, when he does his uh, research, he goes deep. Okay, Karen's arm is not a normal person. All right, absolutely bonkers. I've seen it all now. There's the laugh, ridiculous, mad Karen, clown. These Karen's comments are really embarrassing. Do they even go over their tweets? All right, this is my last tweet for today's video. I don't know if later today there's gonna be stuff and I don't know if my husband gonna be working from home. All right, abolish the monarchy. Make Elizabeth the last, oh, <laughs> make elizabeth the last okay what did i okay it's from this cbc toronto this is the thing that came on my timeline and there's this long time royal chronicler tina brown also has a view on royal spouses and says that and kate prince william quote has a complete winner end quote okay i'm not even gonna read that but let's see the four comments under that okay this is the one that came under my uh timeline the future of the monarchy is bright okay all i see is oppressors racist murders wow 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 huh isn't after william it's his son what's the name is it no not louis what's the other one whatever it's charles son uh william son not andrew but anyway wow 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 okay so let's do a prayer prayer for what prayer for let's do world peace tranquility let's see what pops up okay lord jesus we ask you to give us all around peace in our mind body and soul and spirit we want you to heal and remove everything that is causing stress grief and sorrow in our lives please guide our path through life and make our enemies be at peace with us <sighs> hopefully they don't come back all right let's do uh image let's go with this the word peace prayer lead me from death to life from falsehood to truth lead me from despair to hope from fear to trust lead me from hate to love from war to peace let peace fill our heart our world our universe all right so that's it please take a moment to subscribe like and share if you want to support this channel there's a paypal link in the description you could donate those who have donated thank you and uh that's it there's my next uh video my 6 a.m video it's playing right now so that's it